Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm coming to you today from the Highlands of Scotland. I have a flat earth channel, but my channel is the first flat earth channel to warn about the alien invasion, which is happening now throughout the UK and Europe. Aliens are invading our countries, assisted by traitors in the country. These aliens are worse than the ones that come from the sky in um, flying saucers, the little green men. These aliens, hordes of them, are coming ably assisted by government officials, Highland councils, your councils, the Scottish government, Scottish charities. For example, here in the Highlands there's a charity called Beechwood Highlands, which assists people with mental health problems. But there's an offshoot of Beechwood Highlands they have employed three girls, one a doctor. I don't know what she's a doctor of, which doctor, and which doctor is she? And I can't remember. The aliens are coming, and their charity is um, their charity is to help the aliens to integrate and assimilate. Well, as we know. Aliens don't assimilate. They don't integrate. They just take over and snuff the light out of your Highland Scottish culture. I've been in many alien countries. In fact, all the countries that I've visited in my 12 years at sea around the world, the square world, if you like, the flat world, they were all alien to me. But I accepted all their cultures and, and lived by their rules and ate their food and made love to some of their women and not all other women, but, uh, and smoked their exotic substances. But for a whole alien culture to come to, here in the Highlands, I was at uh, an alien refugee meeting. There was the four local councillors, Highland Council um, employees, there was Police Scotland, there was NHS Scotland, there was social workers, and all these people were desperate to help the aliens land and have nice cosy houses. Apparently 300 families, which probably equates to about 3,000 people when she'd count all the kids and the grandparents. Now, there's people going about in Inverness that are homeless, Scottish people, ex-servicemen and women and so on, who've done their bit for the country. <coughs> They're homeless. But we have got to stand, people. It's a flat earth, as I say, I am the only flat earth channel that is warning about the alien invasion and the other ones will pick up. This is the most serious threat we've faced since Adolf Hitler was a boy. <coughs> My father fought against Adolf Hitler. I sort of beat him almost single-handed. My father was a hero. He stood up and put his life on the line. Just like all the other guys doing in World War II. Now, Tommy Robinson's life is on the line. He's in prison. <clears throat> and 600,000 people have signed the petition to free him. 
because Tommy has put his life on the line for us. Nobody, very few people have seen the, this talk to the Oxford Union. Tommy's a very, very intelligent, clever guy. Nobody has read his two books, Enemy of the State and Muhammad's Quran. Tommy's written these two books. He's not the idiot left-wing flag that is portrayed in the media and TV. He's more intelligent than Piers Morgan. But he knows about the alien invasion. He's exper experienced it. He's got the scars to prove it. Until we in Scotland wake up, Wake up, folk. Switch off your Facebook. Switch off your X Factor. And learn what's going on in your country. Flat Earth is an umbrella term. People ask me, oh, what shape's the Earth? Is it flat? Well, I don't know. I haven't got a clue. But flat Earth is an umbrella term for the multitudinous uh, aspects of flat earth and then to the new world order and then to uh, the European Union and then to uh, the Masonic control of our governments and uh, local governments and we have got to wake up God perhaps tests us as he tested us in World War II, we could have sat back and be speaking German, Expert kein Deutsch. But soon we'll be speaking, well, it wouldn't be any de Bermiati Vrit, it wouldn't be a Vrit we're speaking. Let's fight this together, people. Let's get Tommy out of jail. Let's read a mass movement. 600 people have signed the petition. Now go to Petition Tommy uh, Robinson online, search for that, and you'll come up with a petition. 600,000 people have signed it. But that's only one tenth of the people in Britain. The other tenth, nine tenths, are just sitting back and hoping that. Things will go on nicely as usual, as I've done. This road behind me is covered in potholes and the people don't do anything. I don't have a car, but they just let it be done. They don't go to their councillor like, en masse and say, look, get this fixed. Meanwhile, the councillor's out planting bloody orchards with a shovel not with a shovel digging tar and putting it in the potholes oh no that's too good for her your council is getting away with murder this is the summer of discontent I think that was the poll tax slogan I mean, have you seen the uh, demonstrations for Tommy Robinson throughout the country and at 10 Downing Street with people climbing the railings of 10 Downing Street? The last time that happened was in St. Petersburg during the Russian Revolution. It's unbelievable what's been kept off the news. Your BBC News and your Mainstream media is just, it's just a huge propaganda machine. This Beechwood Highland, did I mention it? it it's a charitable organization that helps mental health people, which is good. But it's got an offshoot, and I think I mentioned it before, it's got these three women that are helping the aliens. Now, anybody that helps the aliens is a traitor. Anybody that goes against their country is a traitor. 
and there's traitors abounding in council, in government. And they're so smug about it, as they always were. Uh, Judas Iscariot, does that ring a bell? Well, he's certainly remembered in history. I don't know what for. I read the Bible twice. And I read the Quran and the Bhagavad Gita. So, and that's when I see, they talk about Scottish education. When I see the amount of newspapers that are uh, sold each day, I go into the shop and there's all these newspapers and there's all these magazines about Prince Charles or is it Prince Henry or whatever his name is. And people are reading all this rubbish, you know, it's the lowest common denominator. They're totally undereducated. They're totally dumbed down. They're totally ignorant of life, real life. They'd rather read fairy stories in Disneyland. Don't get me started. Flat Earth. Flat Earth. The aliens are coming. Be ready. Be aware. Arm yourself with knowledge. Read about the aliens. Protect your family and your daughters and your sons. We know about the rape gangs that some aliens are doing all over the country. It's becoming more talked about now. We don't hear about Scottish rape gangs. There may well be some, but not in the manner of the thing which protects your daughters. It protects your daughters from the only the ordinary Scotsman as well. You see, I've got my flat earth uh, t-shirt on, which is a bit rounded, but that's just my tummy. I'm not saying this is the uh, shape of the flat earth. I'm saying it's, it could be any shape you like. You know, I don't know what shape it is. This shape actually works, the latitude and longitude. The aliens are coming from all over. They've been shipped across the Mediterranean, where I've sailed many times. They've been shipped through Europe and across from Cali. Millions and millions, millions and millions. London has sections. I used to go down to London to Tower Hamlets to see my sister. And luckily she moved years ago, but you could see what it was becoming. London's, London stand. But flat earth. Protect yourself from the alien invasion. Read, study, defend yourself. I'll leave it for now.